guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another Will I Buy It video. Oh my gosh, I actually miss filming these. Like when it's been a couple of weeks and I'm like, oh my God, there's so many new things to talk about. So I'm really excited if you're really excited to see what new makeup releases are, you know, really piquing my interest, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I just hopped on Trend Mood. That's where I like to go to find all my new makeup ideas and what's coming out. So wow, they just revealed this new palette by BH Cosmetics. It's called the Santa Fe Palette and it's an eyeshadow palette that includes 20 matte shades and shimmer shades for $22. So BH Cosmetics does this thing where when a product newly launches, they lower the price like an introductory part price. And so this palette is regularly $26. It'll be on sale for $22. It's cruelty-free, vegan, and will be available on May 1st at BH Cosmetics. And you can also get 10% off if you use the code TRENDMOOD, which I think is nice. It's always nice to save some money. So they really did something interesting with the pans here. I'm definitely getting like a very festival, very tribal vibe from the pan shape. I don't particularly love the pan shape, but I will definitely give them points for trying. It's not really like, it's cool, I like the idea. You guys know I've been on a BH Cosmetics like kick lately. I've been buying every BH Cosmetics palette and I feel like this is where now I need to like stop because I don't need this palette. I really like the mustard and the two orange, bright orange shades on the first row. Those are really catching my eye but I have those shades so I don't need this palette but it's really cool and I'm sure it's got a decent formula. BH Cosmetics has been doing really good on their formula recently too, if you ask me. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, Tom Ford came out with a Soleil Flawless Glow Foundation with SPF 30. It's a lightweight gel serum foundation with a sheer to medium coverage and a satin finish that glows without adding shine. It hydrates and, and protects from UV rays and pollution, features a unique moisture complex of red fruit extract, including watermelon, lychee seeds, and apple. They increase water held by skin cells, gives skin a healthy look, fresh glow, and provides protection too. In 20 shades for $87, holy guacamole, $87. Uh, no, thank you. I actually am trying not to buy any foundations. I'm trying to think I think I bought a few drugstore foundations maybe a month or two ago But I'm trying to stay off buying foundation because honestly I just want to use up the foundations I have and if I'm gonna spend money on makeup It's usually a palette because I love I love eyeshadow palettes. You guys know this about me so an $87 foundation by Tom Ford is really not piquing my interest and honestly Tom Ford isn't really like friendly for my skin tone. This is just my personal experience. I've never felt like Tom Ford's skin tones, like his shade selection, like works with my skin tone. So I, I don't really care. It's fine. Um, but I'm planning on staying away from that. Okay, so this is exciting. Everyone's been talking about these cover effects, blush and bronzer duos. They're, each duo has two finishes, matte and shimmer. And it's a pressed powder hybrid formula with a unique blend of skin emollients that give a skin perfecting airbrush effect that never looks cakey or chalky, which is great. These just launched at Ulta today. So I picked up two of them because Ulta sent me a $10 off a $50 purchase and so I picked up the darker bronzer and then a terracotta blush. I was just curious about these because I mean everyone's been talking about them and honestly I don't think cover effects has come out with anything very exciting recently so since I had the coupon and I was like cool let's try it out I picked it up and I'm interested to try it out and see what it feels like I definitely think the price point is a little over the top like $38 for a blush bronzer situation is a little excessive but most likely it'll probably go on sale. I feel like a lot of cover effects face products end up on sale like their face palettes and stuff like that so if you don't want to you know pay full price also it'll be available during the Sephora sale so if you don't pick it up through Ulta you can pick it up on Sephora during the sale. Okay so Marc Jacobs came out with a huge line of concealers as well as these blurring beauty powders. I really like the compact 
of the powders and I'm so tempted to pick it up but I don't need any powders right now. It has a little built-in brush on the cat like on the cover, which I think is so convenient, especially for any of you that carry a powder with you at all times and actually touch up during the day. I think that's so smart that he has like a nice brush in there. And these concealers look really nice. They're stick concealers, they're creamy, full coverage in 17 shades, light, medium, tan, deep. $32 each. You know, when I saw swatches of this concealer, it honestly reminded me of the consistency of the NARS concealer that I have in a pot, and I'm trying to use that up as well. So even though, you know, I'm always here for a new concealer, I don't want to pick that up because I don't need it, so I'm going to stay away from it. Okay, let's talk about these. So Huda is also jumping on the glowy um, skin product bandwagon, and they're coming out with the Nymph body highlighters and I love this acronym because NIMS stands for not your mama's pantyhose um, which I think is like referring to um, when you wear pantyhose and how like smooth they make your legs look so I get the vibe that she's trying to portray these are $49 each and you get 1.85 ounces of product honestly for me I don't need this kind of product I do love to glow I love to put like a glowy product on my legs but I've talked about this before when we were talking about Patrick Ta and Fenty and all that stuff there's plenty of drugstore dupes to these products so I would really say like don't waste your money buying something like this honestly it's just not worth it um okay so Natasha Denona is coming out with a another bloom palette so this is gonna be um, a shade extension I guess she's calling it and they're saying it'll be available May in May and she will reveal the shade in shades in two days and this was posted two days ago so I'm assuming we're gonna hear about this today sometime okay everyone always comes on in their will I buy it videos and says like this is editing you know XYZ so this is editing Karen who just pulled up the latest post from Trend Mood and they did show the new colors for the Natasha Denona palette and I feel like this is the one shade selection that would have like broke me which is like more browns this is like a blush and highlighting but it's like the tan bronze and glow palette so yeah that that one brown shade looks delicious and the super glow like the highlighter looks beautiful too I think I'm gonna try and stay strong though because I really don't need it but boy that's beautiful so back to our regularly scheduled programming so I don't I think you guys probably know this but I did buy the bloom palette and don't get me wrong I love Natasha Denona products but once I got the palette and I tried it out I honestly don't like cream products and I need to stop doing this where I buy cream products because I know I genuinely just don't have the time um, to use them so like for me I wear makeup every day when I go to work and that's when I test my makeup and so I just don't have the time in the morning to put a cream product on and to sit there and finesse like that red shade in the bloom palette like I don't have time to sit there and like blend it whereas with the powder I know that what I put on is the shade I'm going to get um, so the cream products were really like too high maintenance for me in that palette and then when it came to the powder products I really liked the idea of them but I have this one Natasha Denona Duo Glow in the shade Alba and I've had this for two years or yeah two years now and honestly like if I have this I don't really need a lot of her other face products because this is like the glowiest most gorgeous blush ever and I love it so so much and I was like you know what it's really a waste of money for me to keep this bloom palette because I pretty much have my favorite thing in this palette which is the glowy blush already in a full size so I did end up actually returning that so I kind of learned my lesson and I won't be buying the new bloom palette I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous but I just can't do it because I don't need it I don't need it I'm never gonna use it so Colourpop of course came out with a new collection this is their round three I believe with makeup Shayla and she came out with a proceed with caution eyeshadow palette two blushes and two lip bundles so I honestly think this is a beautiful collection is it like revolutionary not by any means but I think it's cool and I don't particularly like 
follow makeup Shayla but I like the idea of this palette and the swatches were really beautiful and then I really wanted to buy their cream eyeliner so I actually bought this palette uh, and I'm really curious actually to swatch the yellow <laughs> that's really kind of what pushed me into it um, even though I had definitely said like I'm not interested you know me you guys know me by now right I'm like such a freak when it comes to eyeshadow palette so yep totally bought this and I'm not ashamed of it I'm not I bought it I'm here for it I want to try it out and see and you guys know I love ColourPop so much because they make such affordable great products so definitely you can find ColourPop on my channel whenever wherever just give me a call you know um, okay so new brand this is I don't know what to say is it UOMA beauty is that just what it is draws inspiration from a deep and vivid afro heritage it mixes this with fierce modernity to create new possibilities I was looking at this collection on Ulta I thought it was a cool idea I almost bought the foundation and eyeshadow palette but I was like Karen like you don't have to try everything out for everyone. Like somebody else can do a video on UOMA Beauty and I didn't really want to buy like a foundation like I said in when we were talking about something else. I don't want to buy any foundations and God knows I don't need another eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to see what other people think of this brand. If I get to see it in stores, maybe that'll um, entice me. But for now, I think it looks like a really cool idea. But I don't have to try everything. You know, other people will make videos on this stuff and this is already available on Alta's website and it says it'll be available May 5th in stores so I think that's really cool let me know if you guys have picked anything up from them or if there's any youtubers that have already made videos on them I think um, Annette's makeup corner maybe posted on her Instagram saying she bought one of their palettes I'm not a hundred percent sure but keeping an eye out so um, the VIB sale is on when you're watching this video and I've only bought three things, which I'm really proud of. I had a pretty extensive wish list video go up. I'll try and remember to link it in the cards for you guys if you want to see that. But when it came time to actually decide, I was like, you know what, Karen, you don't need to spend all of your money. Like, you know, get it together. So I only bought three things. I bought the Milk Hydro Primer because I really wanted to try that. Kevin Aquan came out with a new bronzer and uh, I love Kevin Aquan's Neo Blush so I wanted to try the Neo Bronzer. And then I think I bought a backup of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I think those are the three things I bought but I was really proud of myself because you guys know I'm a savage when it comes to Sephora sales and I'm gonna be so excited when my three things come and I'm just happy as a clam, you know what I mean? Okay, so the Sephora Machino collection did launch on April 25th as promised, and I was really curious about this. I maybe thought I would buy the brush set just to have it, but you know what, I already have one brush set from them just chilling in my beauty room, and it's definitely like more of a collector's thing for me. And I was like, Karen, you're not gonna, you're not gonna just buy another set of brushes to just chill in your makeup room. So I did myself a favor and saved money. So if you guys did pick anything up from the Moschino collection, you have to let me know down below. That is my Moschino Bear from their first collab. So I'm happy. I don't need more. I'm good. Um, okay, for Sally's coming out with the Hydration Bay new two-in-one daily face mask that contains high bubbles, a patented technology that encapsulates active ingredients. It can be left on overnight as an intensive hydration treatment or used in the morning as a glow-inducing makeup base. The, bu the Boo Bubbles, the High Bubbles, serves you a nourishing blast of antioxidant hibiscus oil drenching dry skin and smoothing out even texture luminous complexion. Has hyaluronic acid, tamarind, and hibiscus. $62. Honestly, this product sounds really cool. I didn't realize it was like a hydration situation. I thought it was some kind of mask, but it looks like you can wear it as like an overnight mask or as a base so it looks cool I don't think I'm gonna go out and buy a $62 hydration situation right now because I have so many products skincare products that I want to just use up but it looks cool I mean it's one of like the first things that Forsali's made that I'm like medium interested in so take that for whatever it's worth Huda came out with these new sets they're so cute I actually saw these in person because my Sephora had it which was shocking 
Um, but they are doing these little mini sets and they come with a matte and a cream lip as well as a, a lip pencil and I actually bought so many of these when they did just the matte sets and it was a great way to grow my Huda liquid lipstick collection. I actually really like her liquid lipstick so if you guys are interested in trying out her product, this is a great way to do it. Also, these make such a good gift. So they're 25 bucks and I guarantee you there's no girlfriend that you have that's gonna be upset if they get one of these because it's a really good formula. Okay, so this palette, oh my gosh, everyone was like losing it over this and honestly, I kind of did too, except like I knew that if I got this palette, I, well, I, I feel like from personal um, experience, I had a feeling I wasn't gonna love this palette, so I'm glad I didn't buy it, but it's beautiful. I think it's so beautiful, and if I had the makeup skills, maybe I could do a better job with this, but this is new the new Linda Hallberry um, Pastels palette. It's called the Spectral Palette. It has eight shades and four different formulas for $59. This already launched like last Friday or something like that, and it's gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. I watched her do a look with this palette, and honestly, if I had a spare $59 and money was not a, like, a thing to even, like, if I could just throw money away, I would totally buy it because I, I would love to support her brand, and I would love to just try out this palette, but I bought her holiday palette, the Christmas palette, and I wasn't wowed by it and that one was $59 too and it was a quad so I just don't feel the need to buy Linda Hallberry right now and plus you have to place I believe a hundred dollar order for free shipping and I wasn't gonna do it and I think what I'm gonna do is someday just wait for Linda Hallberry to find a US retailer and then I'll probably purchase more from her I love her mood crayons I think she's an awesome innovative brand I think all my Swedish friends should be so proud of the fact that they have such an awesome brand being made in Sweden, but I just, yeah, I just couldn't. I just, it was too much money, so I skipped on it, but I love the idea. It looks really, really cool. Okay, Hourglass came out with a new product, and honestly, this looks gorgeous. These are their new High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. It's called the Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. Infused with powerful active ingredients for instant hydration and long-lasting volume, lips appear fuller without the sting of traditional lip plumpers, light reflecting shimmers, and Brilliant luster providing a dimensional shine. 18 shades for $30. I think these are gorgeous. I love Hourglass so, so much, but I'm not gonna buy lip glosses. I have two from Pat McGrath, and I love those lip glosses, and I'm not really a gloss person like a lot of people are. I've never, never, never gone through a whole gloss, so even though I think this would be so fun to try, I'm not gonna try it, but let me know if you guys did. This palette I think is so adorable. I <laughs> I really want to buy it, but I'm trying not to pay full price for it because I paid full price for the Aries palette because I got really excited when that stupid palette launched. And now I'm like, okay, Karen, you really never need to pay full price for BH Cosmetics, so I'm not going to buy this, but this is their Taurus palette. And I think it's cool. I really, really, really like that matte green shade. And I love the two goals. And I kind of even love that cement green shadow that they have going on. So I think this is cute. I mean, Pisces palette was green too. But I I think this is more of a green, yellow, brown situation. And I just, I like it. You guys know I like these palettes. I have nothing but good things to say about the ones that I already own. I definitely see myself owning all of them. And honestly, if there's one that catches your attention, I would totally recommend you guys trying them out because I totally feel like they're underrated and people give, give them a bad rap. Okay, here is a lip product that I kind of want, but I probably won't buy them unless they come to Ulta. These are the Lime Crime lip blaze cream liquid lipsticks buttery hydrating formula infused with top shelf cannabis sativa seed oil the perfect hybrid of cream color and shine for twenty dollars each i just love a good brown liquid lipstick so in here the shades uh bud herb oh my god those two browns herb on my skin tone like i want it i want it i want it i love the neon green lid I don't care about the cannabis that's not it I just love those two browns I think on my skin tone they'll look amazing so hopefully those will come to Alta and then I can try them out 
So Lawless Beauty is coming out with a concealer and honestly the only reason I really know about Lawless Beauty is because of Samantha March. She really likes their liquid lipsticks. I haven't bought any of them but she raves about their liquid lipsticks. I believe she had tried their foundation as well and now they're coming out with a concealer. I feel like their price point is always a little bit higher than what I want to pay and these launched on April 23rd so yeah, let me know. These are supposed to be full coverage, semi-matte in 12 shades. So it's definitely one of those brands that like piques my curiosity, but it's definitely not one that I'm going to run out and buy to try out. It's just not, it's just not for me. So yeah. Okay guys, so I think that's pretty much it for the mainstream brands, but now I want to talk about some of the indie brands that I've been eyeing. And I can't believe I've Forgot to talk about this in my last Will I Buy video, but Kalidos Makeup is a brand out of China, I believe. They're Chinese and American owned, and they came out with this new collection. Oh my god, it's called like the Futurism Collection, and they came out with three five pan eyeshadow palettes. And basically, like everyone I love on YouTube got a PR package from them the Fancy Face, Angelica, Paulina, and Amy Loves Makeup. They all showed these palettes, and these palettes, when they swatched them, they just oh my god, I literally was like the drool emoji. That was me because they just swatched like butter, 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 butter. And they had a set where you could just get all three. And then they had a bundle where that you could get then three new palettes and their previous palette, which was like a like water themed or something. It was like aqua something. And I was like, fuck it, I'll just get the whole bundle. So I did pick that up last week when it launched. And I haven't received it yet, but I'm so excited for when those come in because they're so so beautiful and I'm really excited to try that new brand and all my friends had such good things to say about those so I am very hyped for it and then LA Girl did come out with two new palettes as well I almost bought these and then I was like no I don't need them um, they had like this video of somebody like swatching the blue shades on their arm and the shimmers just look so pigmented and buttery but I always feel like they do that like drugstore brands do that where they make the metallics look so buttery but then when I actually get the palette myself I'm super duper disappointed because they're never as buttery as they make them out to be in videos that the brand post and then I got lucky and I saw Young Wild and Polish talk about them in like she did like a swatch video of like a bunch of new palettes that she had gotten and she said the shimmers were nice but they're not as nice as they seemed so I was so happy to save myself $18 and so I didn't buy it and I but I think it's really beautiful the other thing I forgot to tell you guys is I did buy the glam light burger palette this thing did ship but I don't know where mine is I'll have to check and see where mine is and then I'm also really really excited for the taco palette that drops on Cinco de Mayo May 5th and honestly I feel like I'm gonna buy it for sure because you guys, I love tacos. I love tacos so, so much. And so I'm definitely eyeing this situation. I don't really care that it looks like food. I'm anticipating that it'll be a lot of really nice bright green shades. So, I mean, give me my 100th green palette. I don't really care. You know, come over here. Like, come come to me. You're, you're my taco palette. Like, come on. It's like me in a palette of food taco palette like the only other thing that could be more me would be a sushi palette so we're all set another thing I was eyeing is these guys give me glow came out with some new shades and honestly guys I tried so hard not to buy them I put them in my cart I said no and then I put them in my cart and I said no and then I was like okay I'll just buy the three shades that I really really want so I bought like bananas um there was this lime shade called lemon lime and um this yellow shade called going bananas and I don't think I have any shades like that in my collection so I bought that and then I bought the shade called wave which is just like a beautiful green shimmer shade so got those and I'm good now I just need to stop but give me those shimmer shades are so beautiful and they're so buttery so I like literally couldn't say no I just I bought them and it's kind of embarrassing because I like don't need any more single shadows but I wanted them, so I bought them, and they're here. 
The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this new Cleonod collection. They're doing this insanely huge, like 70 something eyeshadow collection of multi-chromes. Um, I think this is like the biggest multi-chrome release so far from a brand. And Cleonod is a Canadian indie brand. Honestly, the price point of these are kind of on the high end. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Because some of these collections, like if you want the whole set of single shadows it's like a hundred and something bucks but on the other hand they are an indie brand it's two sisters i think they pretty much do all the work themselves and their customer service is amazing i have a lot of stuff from them and they're very very sweet like you can talk to them on their instagram one time i literally showed a freaking eyeshadow that i bought that had like a little chip in it like it was fine it wasn't shattered or anything totally salvageable and one of the owners saw my instagram story and they like mailed me a new one because they wanted me to have a new pen and i was just like you know she contacted me i was like really you don't have to it's fine like i'll be fine it's not a big deal but the fact that they like did that for me i thought was just like amazing so i have to give them props and this collection i still don't understand like everything that's in it i tried to watch they did like an instagram live of everything that was part of this collection and there was so much but i kind of have my eye on the jewel set there's like a jewel custom like set with a bunch of the jewel shades so i might buy that but there's so much i'm so so intrigued to see this when it actually launches and it'll launch on april 30th so keep an eye out for that i think they definitely deserve your support if you want to support a small indie brand i saw angelica talk about and then my friend ashley from dr ashley what's her channel called sorry hold on dr ash and her makeup she had bought these palettes from hip dot and they have two beautiful palettes the blue one definitely called to me but i'm trying to be less of a savage so i decided to say no the pinky tone one definitely reminds me of like the huda desert dusk palette the blue one you know has a really beautiful shades in it i'd never really heard of this brand so it wasn't even on my radar but i think it's really beautiful and yeah if you guys have tried it definitely let me know their ace beauty is sneak peeking a upcoming palette called the oceanic palette and this packaging is stunning they do like the mandela packaging i don't love their formula from the four palettes they did the tropical garden i don't know what that was called um that set the paradise collection um i don't love that formula but i've heard they've redone their formula and so i'm curious to see what the inside of this palette looks like they say that it was created uh, mid last year blah 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 um we revisited the color story again last year and worked on perfecting every detail as always coming blah 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 the palette is launching may 2019 this will be the first of many products to launch this year. We will also be introducing new product lines and have worked tirelessly on them. Can't wait for you beauties to see everything. So that'll be very, very interesting. I definitely have my eye on that particular situation. And then the very last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about from indie brands are Sydney Grace's new bundle. I actually just got this in the mail. So here it is. Uh, this is Sydney Grace's new bundle. It's called Danny's Bundle and it's actually named after their mom, which I think is great. Her favorite color is green. So obviously me and Danny, we could be friends because I love green. And this was really cool because they did this as a dupe to that pickle palette. That was an April Fool's joke by an Australian brand. If I can find a picture of the pickle palette that I'm talking about. I'll throw it up in the corner for you guys here. But yeah, you guys know I'm obsessed with Sydney Grace. And when this launched, I was like, sure, I'll buy it. But I think I'm going to need to take a break from single shadows because I bought so, so many single shadows. But yeah, I think May is going to be the month where I take a little break from buying. And all I want to do is make new videos for you guys and test palettes and make reviews and stuff like that for you guys so yeah we'll see how it goes i hope you guys are enjoying my content i hope you enjoyed this will i buy it video thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>